I mean, Alaska has always held like a certain allure for me. I mean, it it's like a proving ground, you know? And I feel like at a certain degree, Alaska is like a drug. I guess going into this hunt, I really just wanted to have a bear hunt like I had never experienced before. I mean, this was totally new ground. Um, I mean, we were doing a boat-based hunt, you know, and I, I wanted to see truly the beauty of Southeast Alaska from the perspective of a hunter, because I hadn't experienced that before. I'd been to Southeast Alaska fishing, but I've never been in like a hunting capacity. And I feel like what we got far exceeded my expectations. loaded up uh, got all the gear sorted and now we're just kicking off the dock right now ready for an epic adventure <laughs> stoked and we are off <laughs> spot to get to is kind of cliffed out on both sides. It was like we took a chance and tried to cut through this timber patch here and as soon as we came over this divide the wind just whoosh, right at her back and you can see him just picking his head. So onward we're not even really to the hunting zone yet so high hopes I mean the first bear is a big one so this can only lead to better things.
He was super nasty. He was all scarred up, dude. He had like, he had some cool stuff going on. And extremely rubbed. You see the line they get? It's just like a line. The wind's a little squirrely in here. It's like, Jesse went back and grabbed his bow. He's getting ready to make a play on it. And like, literally, as he was about to like start on the stock, you just feel the wind like hitting the back of the head. The bear picked up his head like immediately and just tasting the wind. And like, he didn't hard spook by any means, but he definitely like walked out of our lives for right now. Salmon start running up here in like July. That bear's not rubbed at all. We could just cut him all. Like, we'll just go down the beach and then just try to like, like we just go down there and then just wait for him to come down. So just did, I just did my first stock of the trip, got to 24 yards of that bear. And just, I don't know, first day, it just, it was a good bear, but I don't think it was like a great bear, especially first day going. But it was a nice confidence booster. Get full draw and just held the pin, and it's just like, oh man, if I want to do it, it's just that thing was done. <clears throat> but onward, more bears. There's like four bears today. It's awesome. He know. had a smaller head for his size, but he was definitely a nice bear. For yeah. sure. Was his no rubs? Not really. His face is a little rubbed. I saw the bald spot. You have I a was picture of his him face? For 20 you minutes before you. I don't. I don't know. We were like, he's full yeah. draw. Like no split. way. We're all. Wait. You lay down. Wait. What the fuck? <laughs> what were you? 22 yards. 24. Oh no shit. Yeah. He was right there, seven foot, but he was younger, probably four or five years old. Berg Nation. It's the only way to be. Oh, you don't like the camera. You don't like the camera? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. He don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, there's another place north of Pulak or Greg there that I really like the bear hunt. Yeah. And I was thinking about going there, but there's no shrimping and fishing. So sure. I was like, oh, fuck it. Awesome. You like mustard? Okay. I was like, that's what we got. No ketchup. Yeah, I know. I grabbed it out of your hand and it about pulled it oh, out of my hand, dude. Shit. Oh. Yeah. That's Whoa. a big fish. That's what you I got was a big like, one yeah. on there? Yeah, that's a big fish. Out, oh, there he goes. He's making a run for it, boys. He's, he's spinning and swimming. And he's Here spinning. he comes. That's oh, a Oh, yeah. I don't need the gun for that one. I don't need a gun for that one. Been in the RV, I've been flipping all the lights and half the time to shut it off. Uh, we just caught a mess of shrimp this morning, uh, pulled some pots, and now we're about to have a nice, I guess we call it breakfast, for a nice day of bear hunting. We got a mess of probably, what, a couple pounds? Yes, sir. Looks pretty good. Breakfast of champions. Got to about 60 yards from him, and he caught a little bit of movement. Um, busted out of there, but it's honestly probably a bear I wasn't going to take, but uh, good practice stock. So we're going to continue up the bay. Wind's perfect. Weather's good. We got all the time in the world, so we're going to keep at it.
That's how you John Wayne a 30-30, baby. That was awesome. Throw it down, buddies. All yeah, right, buddy. That sound like an automatic or what? Oh, I know. <laughs> I didn't realize he had an AR with him. <laughs> it's like, dude, that is the one that we're looking for. What'd you shoot him at, like, I 60? sat right on that flat rock with my feet in the water. Uh-huh. And I was going to get closer, Man. and then that one little gust. Yep. Came in, dude, and it just swirled. He looked right up at us with a whole mouthful of grass. Yeah, he was looking like he was having a good time on that little patch. He was all sprawled out. Sweet. Yeah. It's nicer better than I thought, man. A lot better better than I thought. That's what I thought. Holy smokes, boy. Oh, that's so cool. You see why yeah, I like, thought look it was how wide. at first when I came up? Yeah. The eyes are narrow. That skull is that wide. He's got a wide head, yeah. Hail? Yes. Yeah, that's a sweet bear. <laughs> he says, nope. I got to get a picture with him now. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. You see the bear? I felt like hunting from the boat and being on the ocean as much as we were, it, I felt it It really never ceased to make me feel small. And it really made you aware of like your place in the environment you were in. I mean, when you're mobbing across a skiff, you know, seven miles of open straight, like you felt pretty small in your environment. And I think it definitely helps to check and just like really reminded of your mortality out there. You know, it's like if anything were to go wrong, if we were to flip the boat, like sink, like you're done. We just come to a new inlet and right off the bat Daniel spots him. He's right on the other side of this little island so I'm going to sneak up right here and see how close I can get to him. He looks pretty good.
was so dead. I had him at 33 yards, a couple perfect broadside shots on him. Uh, just a little smaller bear than I wanted. We're still really early in the hunt. The weather is turning north. Um, it's gonna be extremely nice weather for like the next three or four days. So I think we're gonna keep after it and find something a little bigger. Keep working our way down the inlet. I'll manage to just blow that, so on to the next one. You like think about each rock that people piled up on this thing. Unbelievable. I just, yeah. We're looking at an old native fish trap right here. We're at a pretty special part of the island. Um, we're at a creek mouth, big tide flat. What we got here is a, a trap that the old uh, natives used to have on the island to catch fish, you know, live off of. So it's, Pretty neat, and some history like this it lets you know you're in a pretty special area. It's all the way over there. Oh, he's in the tide flat. In the tide flat. That looks like a small bear. Small bear to me. That one also doesn't appear to be. Both. That one looks a bit more like that. That was like the size of the one that he like chased off. Okay, well, you know, we're just going to keep after it, um, you know, keep hammering, cliches can be, and uh, we're going to work our way out into the wind, probably blowing right into the bay that we want to hunt, but it don't even matter because we're that hardcore. I mean, just write this down. <laughs>
comes over here I'll shoot him so we're right in the middle of two boars we got right in on this tight flat there's some good food right here there's a smaller boar that we run off um, he didn't like what we had going on I try to call him back in just kind of make him comfortable with some bear noises Coincidentally called it another bear out of the timber right here and both of them are uh, Clacking their jaws back and forth to each other moaning uh, So we're gonna see here for a little bit. Hopefully this one comes out and get a look at him. He's close They never see anybody down here. He don't know what we are. We're just bulldogging his spot I don't know. Should have 21. Is that legal? I don't know. That's the thing, dude. I don't know. I don't think it's illegal. Gets the heart pumping a little bit there. Man, I love that. I got intense there for a little bit in the timber there, but yeah, it is is a good one. He wasn't like big, but he was a, you know he was about that size, just an average boar. No rubs though. He had a little bitty. That's probably 30 yards from that one. How many different bears have you guys gotten from 30 yards of 40 yards? Handful anyway. 
and then some branches started breaking behind us and then all of a sudden it's like oh he's climbing up the tree and then we go in there and it's like oh he's 21 yards I range him in the tree just sitting there looking at me and i didn't know if i could shoot him legal. i just i didn't know oh, yeah. you know he yeah, it's illegal because like i feel weird dude shooting him out of a tree like i was like is this uh and well, then I'm, not... I'm looking back at him thinking blah blah and then he comes down like right then like i was like well i made up my mind so yeah, oh, he was all the way up 20 feet up the cedar wow. and then he went up another one and we chased him and then down again and he was i think that bear yeah one of those is that one that big one was running around there's freaky shit right here It was really tough to try to move in on those bears when they're just like sitting in the wide open and you're like literally hunting like the tiniest tiniest percentage of the actual like land around you and you can only utilize this tiny strip it's like those bears are pretty keyed up especially like the bigger bears like as we found out throughout the course of the hunt like those big bears are not stupid and it's like they see something that's out of place and it's like they're on it I think playing the wind was even really difficult because there's like one direction you could approach these bears and you didn't want to like blow them out with the skiff or like have them see you on your like approach in there. Moving through the woods is not easy. It was like very thick. You had to get on the wolf trails and even those were like pretty noisy and like I didn't have the easiest time navigating it like quietly. For me, it's like you look at those beaches and you look at these stalks, you're like, oh, it's going to be easy, just maybe because it's not physically that hard. And then you get in there and it's like way more of a mental game than like I had thought it would be. You know, I think I probably was not patient enough. I mean, I just wanted to kill a big bear. You know, you think going into a coastal Alaska hunt, like you're going to shoot like a giant, you know, because that, that's what that's like noted for. Midnight man, we're late night shrimping out here, man. It's pretty good. We had a pretty good haul earlier, so hopefully, you know, Capitan brings up some more shrimp and it's gonna be a party, you know. Uh yeah, so ran out of hydro fluid and the boat now doesn't have any steering, so we're hard anchored to the long line and uh yeah, we're still here, just on an adventure, you know. 
I don't even know what time it is. Probably like two or three a.m. <laughs> <laughs> Been up for days. Uh, burning that midnight sun. <laughs> Good thing is you guys can take the skiff and bail. Just totally whiffed a shot. <laughs> it was 56 yards again, unless he was like, I don't see how I misrange that. Mm -hmm. I just must have dropped it. I don't know what made me think of it. Like the dude that actually first brought me up to Alaska, like he got me into snow catting and shit, and like we ended up having to, you know, do bullshit like this. Yeah, you nailed it. That was awesome. But I was like, oh, dude, it's not turning. I was like, oh, dude, the hydro's out. It's gotta be out. It's alive. We got steering. We got oil. We got blood. We have to get bears.
bit in the air. So we spotted these bears after kind of meeting up with Dan. Um, there's two bears back in this bay. By the time we got here, there's only one. The boar was out kind of milling around here. We got into 90 at first. Um, the bear fit into the timber. We tried to get closer, didn't see him. And then uh, he ended up popping out just like 150 yards down. Crept in there, got into 20. Came to full draw and he fed right back into the timber. And then <clears throat> I was on him and just kind of following him, waiting for a shot. And he popped out at like seven yards. Uh, took like a quarter and two shot. Feel pretty good about it. I mean, he was pretty close. I feel like it should have just like lit him up. Um, but you never know. Uh, so we're going to give it probably half hour, 45 minutes, and just kind of ease our way in there and see if we can't find him. New SG waders. Coming out soon. He's back in Alaska. Dude. <laughs> it's actually kind of warm. When I was walking around. It's not that bad. Yeah. <sighs> Gentlemen, nice work. Oh, it's always kind of, you yep. know. We'll just play it safe. We'll slip in there real quiet, real easy. Yeah. Find your arrow, we'll look at some blood, and see what it looks like, see what we got on there. I think you got a pretty good arrow, dude. I don't know. You want to go to him? Did you find him? Did you really? Yeah. Shut the fuck up. Man. I swear. He's over here. Shut the fuck up. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> For real? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, he's over here. We just glanced at him. Okay. Wanted to get you. Yeah, he's up into the creek. He ran up the creek up this way. Pretty good shot on it. Found it. <sighs> Management, I guess. My disappointment was tangible. Stemming mostly from the conclusion of an amazing trip, it was amplified by my misjudgment. I'm like stoked to have killed one, but like the last thing I wanted to do was kill a sow. I had set out to kill a big, nasty boar in Alaska, but in that moment at full draw, I released my arrow without scrutinizing the bear that was in my sights. I was grateful for a clean kill and a very close encounter, but killing a sow crushed me. Time, however, lends perspective. Looking back, the real trophy was the experience and the memories we made together. Fully immersed in ocean life, riding the tides of southeast Alaska, searching for some of the biggest black bears in the world, remains unrivaled in any of my hunting adventures.